Hello, Steve White, Trek Boy 89 Very short spoiler review for Picard. I did a long 15 minute one. That felt too long. I did a better 10 minute one. And now I just want to do a very, very little short one. Just to say, the show is good so far. One episode, we're judging on one episode, a whole season. It's one tenth of the, you know, the season. It was good. It felt like Star Trek. It felt like the Star Trek Next Generation films. It felt like First Contact, Nemesis. That sort of little bit dark. A little bit moody, but still Star Trek. Um, more action orientated, less exploration. But there was a nice moment during the episode, which I forgot to mention in the other review, where they're just out in space and they're just enjoying it. They just take a moment to enjoy the wonder of it. And that is something that's been missing from um, Discovery. Another thing that we get, Starship porn. We actually get shots of the Titan looking absolutely beautiful. It literally took my breath away. I actually was like, <gasps> when it came out of the space dock. Um, now, the only problem with it being so well lit is it looks CGI, but I'll take that over dark and murky to hide the fact that they don't have the time or money to render the ships properly, so they just hide in shadows. Um, I'll take that over that any day. So, we've got some great shots of the ship, some, you know, like at warp, coming out of space dock, in space dock, in space. Um, it looked beautiful. Um, like I said, it looked a little CGI. But um, just because it was too perfect, it's not. Like, I'm not saying that, that you, you can see pixels or, you know, I'm just saying it looked too perfect. It was so perfect that it didn't look real like a model would have little imperfections. But, um, yeah, it was good. Um, now, Beverly's a bit out of character, but she's been out of the loop for 20 years. She hasn't talked to anyone for 20 years, so Lord knows what's happened to her. Um, she does a couple of out of character things. I'm not going to spoil anything. She does a few out of character things. But that could just be her. It doesn't necessarily have to mean this is what Starfleet officers act like. Um, Picard and Riker are totally in character and they're hilarious. Um, there's a moment on the bridge I laughed out loud and I had to think, God, did my neighbours hear that? That's Because it was so loud I think they would have heard it in the hall. Um, <laughs> it was a good moment. Um, the Todd Stashwick character is a jerk and it seems like who he plays because maybe that's just who he is. Like Sometimes people just play the same character over and over again. Um, we were probably going to like him by the end because he does seem like a decent Starfleet captain or uh, he takes the job seriously. And I think no matter what he thinks of the, 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 actor, uh, the, ca the characters, he's going to step in um, if Starfleet is in danger and man up. So he's probably going to redeem himself. But he basically, the one thing I will spoil is he's basically acting like uh, a bigot towards um, ex-Borgs which, of course, will be affecting Seven and so forth, and that's part of the episode. Now, is that an issue in Starfleet? Is this something that's going to be very un-Star Trek-like, or is this just one character and he'll be, you know, you know, edutained, you know, before the end of the, um, the experience? I'm not sure. But um, basically we have Picard and that um, go in search for um, Gates, <laughs> Dr. Crusher, and um, we do have a terrorist attack on Earth, um, but we don't really know what that's about. Um, I don't think I spoiled that that's in the trailer, but it is in this episode. Um, and it's quite dis disturbing just how much damage is done by the way, the nature of the actual attack, which is very Federation, very 20, 25th century. So, um, and I don't know if I mentioned, but that's the first shot, um, the title card in the 25th century. Apparently the first shot will sell you. That's like, that'll sell a Rafa Khan person, but I, Rafa Khan isn't the best Star Trek. It's, it's, like the worst of the Star Trek films because it's all about revenge and battle and it's not really about Star Fleet and exploration or learning or anything. It's just about survival. So um, that didn't really sell me. The first couple of shots were space shots, but we had them at the start of Picard and that didn't take us anywhere good. So it took me a while to get into it, but um, the music really helped. Um, I resented the lack of the original music in the other shows and this really, really is from the beginning is just all Star, all Star Trek themes, recognisable Star Trek themes. And it's beautifully done. It just feels a little pandering, but then I realised how ungrateful that is to say because I complain we didn't have it. But when they give it to you in such a big, syrupy, sugary sort of dose, it's sort of, you know, you can't totally make up for, you know, um, you know too little too late, you know, if, if you just dollop a big, huge lump of it on someone's plate. But um, it still tastes just as good, so, you know, I don't know. So I'm willing to give them a try. I um, had some problems with Star with um, Starfleet, <laughs> with Paramount Plus. I couldn't watch it on my TV screen, which killed me to watch it like this because I won my first viewing of it. You can't get your first viewing back on the big screen, my big screen. Hopefully, I will be able to get this sorted out by the second episode. 
Um, basically it said um, content unavailable. I don't know why. Um, so I had to watch it on my computer. I couldn't watch it on um, Parent Plus. I signed up with the seven day um, free trial so I could cancel if it wasn't good and I wouldn't pay them any money. But I might have to sign up for a new subscription to sort this out. I don't know what happened. But the episode was good. Had a couple little issues. It's It feels Star Trek. It feels more movie Star Trek, more Wrath of Khan, First Contract, Nemesis sort of feel. But they were all Star Trek. So I think they've ultimately succeeded. I think this season is going to be good. But um, we haven't seen it yet. We're only one episode in. Um, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I just tried to do a little short spoiler-free trailer just... For a couple of people I know are watching who don't want to watch the show because they don't believe it could be any good, I want to tell you it is. It is worth watching and I didn't want to spoil it just in case you do actually watch it.